Meet Erden. Sue Graves. Meet Erden. This is Erden. Erden is 10 years old. He lives in Mongolia. In his language, Erden's name looks like this. Mongolia is a country in Asia. It lies between Russia and China. Erden and his family live in Eastern Mongolia. In much of Mongolia, it is cold almost all year long. There is wide, open land with grassy plains. There are few trees. Very few people live there. Erden lives with his parents and his older sister Ayun. He also has an older brother named Batmunk. Batmunk lives nearby with his wife and children. Erden. Erden's sister, Ayun. Erden's mother. Erden's father. Erden's brother, Batmunk, and his family. Erden has two different homes. During the week, his family lives in a house in a village called Surgelen. On weekends, the family lives on a farm in a rural area about 10 kilometers from Surgelen. The family raises sheep, horses, cows, and goats. Erden lives in this house during the week. Life during the week. From Monday to Friday, Erden and his sister go to the school in Surgelen. Erden likes maths and reading. His favorite class is gym because he likes to run. Like other children, Erden studies handwriting in school. The Mongolian language has two different alphabets. Most of the time, Erden writes in the Cyrillic alphabet. He's also learning another Mongolian alphabet that was used many years ago. Erden's schoolwork is written in Cyrillic script. After school, Erden often plays outside with his friend Amra. During the cold winter months, Erden wears a deal when he goes outside. Mongolians have worn this kind of coat for many years. Wool on the inside of the deal keeps Erden warm. Erden and Anra often play with shagai. These are game pieces made from the ankle bones of sheep. Erden. Anra. Time for dinner. Erden's family doesn't tea eat many vegetables. That's because it's hard to grow food crops in Mongolia's harsh climate. Instead, the family often eats mutton. This meat comes from sheep. Erden's mother often makes mutton soup. These are two of Erden's favorite foods. On the weekend. On weekends, Erden and his family stay at their farm. Their home is a large, round tent. The tent is called a gur. Many Mongolians live in jars like these. Long ago, many Mongolian hunters and herders often moved from place to place. The gur was easy to take down and move. People could carry their homes with them. Erden and his family stand in front of their gur. The gur Erden's family lives and has a wooden frame. The frame is covered with felt to keep the inside warm. The canvas on the outside of the gur is held in place with ropes made from horse tails. Inside the gur, there's a hole in the ceiling. It lets in light. The gur also has a chimney that lets smoke from the stove escape. The beds in the gur have brightly colored rugs and cushions. The stove is used for cooking and heating the gur. Inside Erden's gur, it is warm and cozy. Erden loves going to the gur on weekends and school holidays. 
He likes being outside and helping his father take care of the farm. This is Erden with his dog, Hoi Log. He also has another dog and a horse. Summertime fun. During the summer, Erden helps herd his family's sheep. They graze all year on the grassy plains. Sometimes Erden herds the sheep on foot and other times by horse. He makes sure the sheep stay together and don't wander off. Erden herds the sheep on horseback. He enjoys helping his family take care of the animals. For Erden, the best part of the summer is racing his horse in the Natum Festival. This celebration takes place every summer. Erden rides in a race that is about 32 kilometers long. Only children are allowed to ride in the race. Many children ride horses in the Natum Festival. Erden watches the festival's opening ceremony from his horse. After the opening ceremony, he will watch the wrestling, archery, and horse racing competitions.